Hey everyone, you're from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create realistic camera shake or that handheld look in After Effects. So first of all I've got two shots, I've got a tripod shot which is just a static locked off shot and then I've got a handheld shot which is basically just um, a handheld shot that I filmed uh, with my camera just holding it, uh, kind of just moving around. It's a bit dark but it should be fine for this tutorial. So first of all I'm going to bring my handheld shot, drag it into a new comp and then I'm going to create a new null because I just want to do motion track on this shot. So I'm going to click on null object and I'm just going to call this tracker. And then I'm going to select my handheld shot and I'm going to click on track motion. And then make sure you enable position and rotation. And then just find two shots or two um, areas in your uh, shot that you can track. So I'm just going to select that one and maybe one on this side as well. And uh, make sure in the first frame and then click on track forward. Okay, so once your track is finished, click on edit target to make sure that your null object is selected. In this case, it's called tracker. And then click on OK, then apply. Make sure it's set to X and Y. Click on OK. And that will just apply the tracking data to your tracker. So if I uh, just mute or hide my handout shot, you'll see that we've got the tracking data on that null object. So now you can go ahead and you can delete your handheld shot and we're going to bring in our tripod shot. Okay, so I'm just going to drag that in and if I scrub through this, you'll see this is a locked down shot, no movement at all. So basically what you can do now is just link this uh, tripod shot to your tracker. So I'm just going to use the parent pick whip and I'm going to drag it onto my tracker. And if you play through this now, you'll see that you've got that exact camera movement on that shot. So obviously now we're going to get these black areas because it's moving that shot around. So if you can, shoot your lockdown shots at a bit of a higher resolution, that way you won't lose any quality when you scale it. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to scale it up uh, just to kind of get rid of those black bars and just scrub through it, see if you get any more, like there's another one there and obviously you have to scale it a bit more and uh, I'm just going to go through this, that's looking alright. So now if you play this back, you'll get very realistic uh, camera movement from that because it's actually getting the data from the actual camera move. So um, another cool thing that you can do is you can actually copy these keyframes and reuse it at a later stage. So to do this, expand tracker and then click on position and hold in command and click on rotation because you want to copy both of those keyframes and then press command C to copy and then basically just open up a text edit and paste it. So just command V and that's basically going to paste your position and rotation. So if we scroll down here, you'll see you've got rotation. And if we go down, you'll see that we've got the position as well. So now basically I'm just going to delete everything in here and I'll show you how you can reuse those um, keyframes. So next time if you bring in a uh, shot that's locked down, so this tripod shot, no movement at all, I'm going to create another uh, null object and I'm just going to call this camera shake. And um, then basically you go to your text file, select everything, copy that. So I'm just going to press Command C to copy that. Go back into After Effects and make sure you're on the first frame. Highlight the null object, in this case camera shake and then paste. So just Command V, it's going to paste it. So if we scrub through this, you'll see that our null object is moving around. And now you can just parent your tripod shot to your camera shake again. And there you've got it. So now you obviously just need to size or to scale your, uh, your footage. So you don't get the black bars, something like that, slightly more, maybe 115. And that's how easy it is to get realistic camera shake or that handheld look in After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.